I am super excited about today's video. We are going to be doing geography today and you're going to be coming along with us uh, seeing kind of what a day in the life of you know our homeschool is like. I'm going to take you through how I do a geography lesson with Blossom and Root. So Blossom and Root, uh, we purchased their um, package that they have um, which includes language arts and within that language arts is uh, geography. So at the end of our week after we've done all our other lessons we um, kind of have a little bit of a celebration and it's focused on tasty geography. It's created by Blossom and Root and we absolutely love it and it makes Fridays just kind of like a little celebration. I'm going to take you through um, and let you kind of be a fly on the wall seeing how we run our school. I'll explain a few things along the way. I'm going to show you what uh, geography books that I incorporate along with the Blossom and Root um, spine, uh, the book that she uses for um, the spine which is the cookbook. Um, but I have a couple of other books that I really love. So I thought I'd share that with you in this video today. And at the end, I'll run you through the actual workbook that we use that comes in the language arts program with Blossom and Root. And I'll show you just how simple it is, but how effective it is for the kids and like what a beautiful little keepsake they're going to have at the end of the year. Before we get into the video today, I just wanted to give you a big welcome if you're new here. My name is Tiffany and this is Hinterlife Homeschool. On my channel, I share all things motherhood, homeschooling and organisation. If those are things that you're interested in, I invite you to subscribe and hit that notification bell um, so you don't miss a thing. Okay, I'm going to go and get everything ready. Can you tell me what country that we're doing? so good. Uh, we? Germany. Germany. We're learning about Germany. This is Germany's flag here. That looks so yummy. Yeah. Delicious. Hey. Mm. All right. So we're going to grab the flag stickers out at the back. So you've seen the sticker. You've seen the sticker that we're looking for. If you could find it, Riley, that would be awesome. It is. Uh, Can you see it? There should be. I see it. Right here. All close. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So, do you want to take off? We'll snap, mm, cut that in half. Yeah. Ready? Is that middle? Uh, yeah. And one, Isaac. <laughs> Take, bring it over to your um, books here, guys. This yours, Rally. Here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are we cooking today? Um, Isaac, you try. You try um, pronouncing that. <laughs> Uh, apple, uh, 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 app, felt, ink, ocean. I don't know. Mm, that's a big word, isn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so it says makes about three large pancakes. As usual, we're going to split our recipe in half so that you guys can have a go at cooking each um, of your own pancakes. Can mine be without apple? How about we do one with apple and one without, and you can do a test test of both and see which I one you prefer. I think with apple would actually taste really good. Isaac, do you want to read the first step for me, sweet? And then Riley, you can read the second step. Okay, so first step. Whisk together the flour, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, and salt in a large mixing bowl. Cool.
cinnamon. Cinnamon. It's a hydrant. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Sin. Sin. O. Min. A. Min. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Yeah. There you go. Good job. All right. Oh. All right. So a teaspoon, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Yes. So get your teaspoon. Is that ground cinnamon? Yes. it is. Can I have one? This is what cinnamon looks like before it's ground. It's actually bark. Can I eat it? Is it edible? It is, yes. That's what the kids at co-op were, were eating. Oh, sorry. I remember they were like oh, breaking it up instead of putting it into their candle. They were eating it. It's very strong. Okay. So I can have a You could, I would not bite into it like a lolly. I, I certainly wouldn't do that, but you could break off a little bit if you wanted. Do you want to smell it, darling? It's, it smells beautiful. Well, what did the little kids do? Well, they're used to it. <laughs> Bit hot? Just a bit. Ah, <laughs> ah, ah, oh no. I need water. You need some water? Okay, I need some water. Please. There's your water, Dylan. <laughs> no, I need. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Skip it. Yeah, oh, you can try it if you want, but it's it's quite warm. Yeah, I don't feel yeah. it. Really okay. <laughs> Wasn't a good experience? I guess that's what ground cinnamon tastes like for powder. Does it look does it look delicious? Yes. yes. <laughs> Germany. In Germany kids love to make these big thick pancakes filled with apples. Instead of topping pancakes with maple syrup, German kids use whipped cream or a little applesauce and cinnamon sugar. Mm. Okay, so you can try some cinnamon sugar, applesauce, and I've got some whipped cream, we which can, is a bit of a can treat. Can we do all three? You can do whatever you like, so. Okay, I, I think I all of it will go together well, yeah, so I'm not worried at all. Okay, Zach, so I've got a list of a uh, couple of places we might like to see in Germany. Um, so I've got, let me just check. Uh, okay, so we want to go to Berlin, Brandenburg Gate. It's a castle. Whoa. Can you see it, Riley? It's very pretty. Whoa, there's a tunnel. Left. Okay, do you want to know the next place that we're going to go now, guys? Yeah. It's a very old building. Yeah. Have a little walk around. Okay, so this is Clara's handwriting. Oh, that's pretty good. It is pretty neat, isn't it? Um, Clara's village below is in a hilly green region of Saxony. Her family spends as much time as possible outdoors, hiking, swimming in the lake, or growing vegetables in their back backyard. <gasps> She's got a horse. And it says, I want to work with animals when I grow up. 
That sounds lovely. It sounds like someone else I know. <laughs> How beautiful is this book? Collecting plants. Clara attends elementary school and she loves it so much that she never wants to leave. She is very proud of her recent nature project, which involved collecting and pressing flowers inside a book. That sounds amazing. have a book um flags of the world sticker book that i bought ages ago i think i found it in big w we don't really use this book um too much in terms of like the mapping um with the flags and the stickers and stuff uh we do use this area of the book so we look at you know what the flag colors represent you know how it how you know what thought went into um you know designing the, the actual flag itself um, and what does it mean, basically? Uh, we find that really interesting. Uh, sometimes we find little bits of information in here, you know, they have little sections here. So this is a really good sort of reference for us. It's nice and light, it's not too deep. Um, this is enough for us. I think it is definitely um, a great layout. It allows you to, to do extra things. So for example, we've started um, rating. Isaac wanted to rate the um the cooking as well so we've got a little section there that's what we cooked today and it got five stars it was delicious we made a few little mistakes with the recipe um but there was you know we know that it, it would have tasted even better so it was pretty impressive so some of the information that we've gotten from here has come from this book here which is another book that i like to match up with this book now not everything is in the, they're not all perfect uh that are all cover the same areas but uh, majority of the time so far I've been able to find what I need in this book so this book goes into more in depth in the you know uh, child like me basically that's what it's called children just like me um, and it goes in and it kind of interviews the child and, and and the family and what they have what they eat what their family dynamics are what their house looks like you know what their hobbies are you know the kind of town that they live in where is it on the on the map um, how old the child is, what's her handwriting like, um, and how I say hello. So really, really simple, just a great, you know, bird's eye view of a family, you know, a real person. And that really helps with understanding, you know, what it's like over there, what it's like to live in that area. Um, and I, I love that. I think that's really great. So this book is definitely a winner. We have used this with other curriculums as well. But I definitely find, found that those other curriculums didn't work for us. This curriculum works much better for us and we just add it in. And it's not too, it's definitely not too much for my kids. One of the other books we use is the Osborne Big Picture Atlas. We really like this because of the way that it lays out all of the, um, you know, places of interest that we can find on our VR. So that is really cool. They can see it on the map and then they can go and um, see it in virtual reality um, and walk around it and see it in like, you know, it feels like real life. Um, that has been something that's really brought uh, geography to life for them. And it's it's making things make a lot more sense. So this book is really great um, to, to be able to just kind of look at that find something that they're interested in in that area and go oh wow there's a castle let's go look at the castle and and then we go and do that so that's definitely a winner i will list all of these books in the description box below as well um the other book that i have that i haven't had a huge amount of success um matching up just yet but i think uh, as we get further into this program we will have a couple of areas where we can look in more in depth but this is what the world eats so we couldn't find anything for canada in this book but we did definitely find uh just a little snippet for germany which was showing um the kitchens so uh, Germany was listed here as a kitchen. So the kids looked at, you know, what sort of kitchens are in different areas. 
different places around the world, what they, how different they are. And, um, you know, they were really interested in like, what are they doing with that meat? And we kind of made some assumptions and, and you know, Googled it, tried to find out a little bit more, in, you know, information as to, as to what they were doing with that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really cool. So this book is a really great um, favorite of mine. I really love that it shows, you know, how much it costs per week for groceries in most families. It shows them a little simple map as well. Um, and just, oh, it's just a beautiful book. So I'm hoping we'll be able to use that a lot more. So there you have it. We're all done, tidied up um, after our cooking uh, ex you know, experience. Uh, the kids really enjoyed it. We made a tiny little mistake with the salt quantity, but I missed that one because we're splitting the recipe in half. Little bit salty. <laughs> um, and it, it was a bit, a bit sad, but um, it still tasted really good. I mean, no, it would have been perfection if we hadn't have made that tiny little error um but that is that is the you know the whole experience isn't it it's cool. so thank you for joining us i hope you enjoyed you know seeing how we do geography in our homeschool um there have been so many different ways that i've tackled geography in our homeschool but this is by far the most relaxed approach that i've taken and honestly i feel like they, they're learning way more I love to take my kids all over the world just to see all the different places but right now that's not possible so we've gone with the virtual reality and it is a really fantastic experience I love it it's just so fascinating to we look at that map and we find that place that we want to see and we go and we actually experience it and it's just phenomenal so I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for sticking around if you have. Um, if you did enjoy it, let me know by liking it and that will tell me whether you want me to continue doing these kinds of videos. Uh, haven't already, I'd love you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video. So thank you again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.